All right, let's see what they have. Oh, okay. Well, just got this from a friend recently, so it's really good to see, though. Looks like they just stocked these. Got future Marty here. Got these gremlins. Not really anything else new. It's really good to see those in the wild though. I really wish they came out with like a, a, a two pack of the Triceratons so I could army build those. I really just don't want those any extra roadkill Ronnies. Got the Godzilla figures. Have I seen this before? Probably. Yep. Can't wait for the Mayfix version of Chucky. I think it's Mayfix. This set is awesome though. I really like all the Hescos. You know, I decided not to get this because this is like what? 30 bucks? Like 25 bucks? And I figured if I pass on this, I could just use the money that I would invest in this into the Mayfix version. Because Chucky was one of my worst nightmares when I was younger. I had a lot of nightmares of him. Anything else? So I guess one would say, why would you get it then? <laughs> you know, it's a nostalgic thing, even though it used to scare the crap out of me. Alright, I think that does it. I don't see any new pops or anything. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's see, any new Star Wars? Oh, they got the Hoth Trooper. The Hoth Rebel Trooper. Oh, new Power Rangers Lightning. So you got King Spinks anywhere? Ah. It's the In Space Red Ranger. And Astronomer. I don't even know these characters. Oh man, would have been nice if we found King Spinks. I saw this one time I passed on it. The Andor, Luke Skywalker there. R5, P8. Kind of eventually want to get that. I don't know, I'm thinking about this one. Would love to army build them, but it's too much. Well, oh, this Target still has a whole bunch of these Storm and Thunderbird 2-packs. A couple miles Morales. A couple Storms. Look at this. Wolverine mask. <laughs> they feel really cheap. I got a Cyborg Spider-Man pop. That's actually a really cool looking pop. Alright. Looks like they did restock on some Batman figures. Some from the older wave. Which is kind of strange. This Joker was the only one here last time I was here. This is a chase version. Not sure why it's considered a chase. We've seen it plenty of times. That's with the Marvel Legends. Oh. Avengers Legends video game. Oh, snaps. The Abomination Wave. I think it's 11 bucks. I already have her. Oh, this is from the Joe Fix-It Wave. I wonder if he's $11. I do need Marvel. So hopefully he's 11 bucks. That'd be sweet. I'll scan it with my phone here in a sec. I don't think they have a scanner around here. Do have the Halo figures? With the ban banished ghost, which is pretty cool. 
Any new Rangers? Oh, no. Another gold are right there. These are $14.92 now, but I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. Hopefully it'll be like seven bucks. That'd be very nice. As with the black series. Oh, they don't got nothing. Transformers. Are these new? Optimus Prime here. A whole bunch of Optimus Primes. Oh, I can't wait for the Beast Wars figures. That's going to be very nice to hunt down. And I can't wait for the Drist do Orden figure that's going to be coming from Hasbro. Alright, I think that does it. I'm going to see. Some dinosaur. Cryolophosaurus. A lot of toys. Toy, toy Story stuff. Sorry, I kind of zoned out there. I got Baby Yoda. Some targets are... Um, have uh, the Baby Yoda on clearance for like seven bucks. All right, yeah, let's get out of here. All right, let's see what they have. All the same old pops. Catenia. This is actually a good looking figure. Atachi. Ichiro. Got Todoroki back there. Billy Eilish. Some goofy looking figures. I'm kind of surprised they came out with these. Almost seems like a joke. Who you know there's some I guess there's some really huge fans of Billy Eilish. I feel kind of bad for her. She's having a lot of issues with social media. A lot of fans or a lot of people are just hating on her because how she looks in the tank top. Star screen, it's Target exclusive. It's actually a cool looking pop. Still got some metal heads here. I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious as to why Funko doesn't come out with as much chases. You know, there's a lot of Funko pops that come out that doesn't have any chase for that particular character. The NECA section, we have a whole bunch of Space Marlies down here. E.T. Chia Pet. <laughs> E.T. used to freak me out. Especially that one scene where he comes out in the bush from the bushes. They have and he makes a very disturbing sound. Got gremlins. All the same old. I was actually hoping to find the, uh, the android body for Krang. Someone found that in California. All right. Oh, they got a LeBron James 10 inch pop now. It's pretty cool. Still got Dumbledore back there. We got Lord, oh, we can't say his name, right? <laughs> Did not speak his name. And who owns that wand? We do not speak his name. Voldemort. Voldemort. Lord Voldemort. 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 <laughs> uh, let's see, we got Majin Buu. Lightning, Napoleon Dynamite, got Gandalf. Pickard. Right. 
Head to Arkham Knight. I really like the suit, but I'm not really digging that facial expression. Or just how the face looks, really. Warhammer 40,000. This figure actually does look really cool. Got Pennywise, trick or treat. The Flock Beast has a cool Funko Pop. Aliens, Magneto. Hey, what's going on, everybody? So, today I'm gonna go on a fairly long hunt. I'm gonna be stopping by several places. I'm really hoping to find the NECA android body for crane that's just started so showing up in uh california yesterday so i highly doubt we're gonna find it today but who knows maybe i'll get lucky um other than that i'm still looking for the uh star wars black series incinerator and also the um, uh king sphinx from the power rangers line so hopefully we'll find at least one of those uh we shall see all right Android body is not here. I am not really seeing anything new. I don't think I've seen this fellow before. Friday 13th. Maybe I have. That's a nice accessory it comes with. A fireplace. Ruffy, Hellraiser, whole bunch of these aliens, got Baraka, alright, I think, Cyclo Spidey here, got the metal head, some Disney figures, who's this, oh, Master Chief, and uh, Active Camo. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now, I thought that was Lucio for a sec from Overwatch. <laughs> All right, what is this? Super Saiyan Goku. It's like a miniature figure. Got Gohan down here. Got Jared. Got Naruto. Ichiro. Great white shark. A bunch of space Martys and Gokus, and that's about it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Just Joker here. Oh, yes! Are you serious? Nice! And we got Pumpkin Rapper. Kind of on the fence of this with this character. Definitely gonna get King Sphinx. Sphinx, sorry. There's three of them, nice. Okay, I'll definitely look at the, the paint app. Excellent. That's what the Marvel Legends. It's hiding back here, Marvel. Man, that's awesome, okay. Found one at our first spot. Okay. That's great. Man, it looks so freaking good. Oh man, I really hope we find that Android body for Crane today. That would be freaking awesome. Pokemon cards. Still got this Space Ranger set here. See, when I saw this the other week, I thought I missed this. I thought maybe it came with it, but maybe not. 
Probably comes in different cases. Oh, not sure if I need this. It's definitely a unique character. He'll definitely stand out in the display. All right, I'll think about it. All right, yeah, let's get out of here. All right. Still 1588. Any new Marvel Legends? Got the AWE striker and his here. Oh, they got a Black Series figure. Wow. Oh, tell me they got the incinerator. Oh, they got Cad Bane. Oh, the incinerator has been taken. No. Pretty sure it comes with this wave. They have everybody else from this wave, I think. Except the armor as well. I already have Cad Bane, don't need him. Oh, these are 1788 as well, so that's nice. In that case, I actually may get a Rebel Trooper. Man, that sucks. We'd be on a roll if we found that incinerator here. Okay, it's all gravy. At least we got this here. 1788. I don't really want these other figures from this wave. Oh, this doesn't have a tab on there. Yeah, don't need that on. These are still $20. Well, I would like to get that Yoda, maybe if it was like less than 10. Oh, man. Anything else new? It's Optimus Prime, Megatron. Soundwave. Yo, Jack, red alert. I used to love that game, Red Alert, Command and Conquer. Those were so freaking fun. And we got Master Chief in 6 inch form. I think that does it. I got some McFarlane figures up there. I wonder what that is. Ultra Action. If it's interesting, I'll show y'all. Got more G.I. Joe figures up there. <laughs> Alright. Okay, at least we got this here. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, let's see that android body. Let's see it. Nope. Do have the Alpha Predator, which is nice to see. Very nice. Definitely my favorite Predator figure. And they have T-1000, the motorcycle outfit version, which I do prefer, but I already got the other version, so I'm not gonna get this. Should've waited, but oh well, it happens. Got another Alpha Predator down here. You know, I haven't checked under the shelf in a while. Let's actually do that. Uh, let's try it under this. Nope, nothing there. Let's try this one. Nope, nothing. Whew, that's a workout, man. Props to those collectors who do, does that like every time they go to a, a retail store. <laughs> yeah, it would have been a beautiful sight to see that Android body. Go 
10 inch thing. So we got the bloodied version of Spawn, the Blood Feud Hunter. That's alright. Cyborg Spidey, any chases? You guys see any chases? We got Professor X in the house. With the Cerebro. Alright, that's a bus. Let's go somewhere else. Wonder Woman. Got Batman Who Laughs. Murder Machine, got Azrael. Got Cyborg here too. Nice. I have not seen him in a while, so I guess he's pretty popular. He has snatched up with a quickness. And we got the same old Marvel Legends. <laughs> Man. I wonder how much these are, these are going to go for in a couple months. We got a Gambit back there. Cyborg Spidey. Sunspot. We got Maverick. Squirrel girl down there. Should we check under the shelf? <laughs> Why not? Nothing. Oops. Sorry about that. What was that? It's Bolton Man? I think it is. It is. <laughs> We got a warthog here, a couple master chiefs up there. Let's go check the Star Wars. These are the only black series here. Got Ceremony Luke, and we got this mountain trooper. I do have one, I do want two in total. I just don't want to pay $24.99. We got a spider buggy. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Alright, I haven't seen it in this while, so this is probably my chance, but it has a really cool looking trooper, very nicely detailed, I'll think about it. Hey, what's going on everybody, welcome back to my humble abode, hope y'all been doing well, hope y'all been staying safe. Um, so we found a couple things we were looking for out in the wild, but uh, not too much. Uh, we're still mainly looking for the NECA Android body crane. So I'm going to be stopping by a lot of targets in the coming weeks because those are going to come and go very quickly. And I'm sure most of y'all are aware of that. So hopefully y'all are finding some luck at finding whatever you're looking for. Um, but in this haul, I only found a couple things in the wild. Um, I did order a lot of stuff online, so I'll go ahead, go ahead and show you all that as well. So first off, we have King Sphinx from the Power, Power Rangers line. And the packaging looks awesome. I love the art. But the, the action figure itself looks even better. I mean, look at that. A lot of great details. Looks like it does have the mid-torso rotation. There's a lot of articulation in the body from the looks of it. So it's got the um, articulation where you can go um, back and forth with the abs, the ab crunch. And it does not look like it has butterfly joints. Maybe it does. Maybe it's kind of hidden back there. But the face looks awesome. Wings look great. Nice te textures. Paint looks great. Very awesome figure. Definitely gonna look good on the shelf. All right, up next we have Marvel. So we found this at that particular Walmart, and I eventually got it scanned from an employee, and it rang up to eleven dollars. So uh, let's see. From this wave, I still need the Iron Man, Captain America. I'm not gonna pick up. He doesn't come with a bath piece, so he's not needed in order to build the abomination and I also need Mach 1 yeah just those two okay so a bomb he doesn't even look like the greatest builder figures but I like collecting all the the big builder figures so he's definitely needed 
Although it would be nice to get the previous um, Abomination Build-A-Figure head. Because it actually looks pretty good on this body as well. Alright, up next. This was an online order. Got this for $17.99 off the Target website. It's a Flashpoint Batman, a.k.a. Thomas Wayne. So this is basically uh, Bruce Wayne's father in an alternate reality or alternate timeline. And where he actually becomes Batman. And this looks really good. I really, really like how that cape looks. I like how the endings, I like the shoulder part looks. Very nice. The eyes are red. Really good face sculpt there. Very nice. This DC McFarlane line is one of my favorite lines right now for sure. They don't have the best articulation, but the display value is definitely there. And that's all I need, really. All right, and up next from Amazon. So this was actually on sale for like $55. And I was going to get it, but I passed on it. I was like, you know, I don't really need it now. Um, but after like a week later, for some reason, it popped up to, um, came on sale again for $52. So I went ahead and just jumped on that. Even though it's like a $3 difference, you know, I figured, you know, that's, it's like buying Nimrod for 30 bucks. And then let's see for $52, $52 plus tax, it came out to like $56. So this got Nimrod for 30 bucks. And then these two figures for eight bucks each. So definitely a nice deal. There's Phantom X. He looks freaking awesome. Really like all the colors, different colors. Well, it's just black, white, and red, but <laughs> looks good. I really want to read the um, the X Force Omnibus from uh, I think his name is Rick Remender. I only heard good things about that that run. So there's Psylocke. X4 suit. And there's Nimrod. Not really a big fan of this villain, but he's nice and bulky, so I like all these big builder figures. Alright, up next from Entertainment Earth. So they had a sale, I think around Black Friday. I forget if it was before or after, but uh, it was free shipping on anything in stock. So I think over $30 or something like or $20, I forget, something like that. So this was in stock, uh, and this is 30 bucks. So finally jumped on this. Never saw this in the wild and around this area. So very, very awesome looking figure. Will, will definitely look good with all the other Mandalorian related figures. Really awesome weapons. Really nice details on this particular one. All right, from GameStop, I bought this Imperial Snowtrooper. Um, I actually got it for free. Uh, it was priced at twenty two ninety nine, but I had a coupon where I get a I can get a free action figure for free if it was twenty two ninety nine or less. And I received this coupon because I bought a whole bunch of Black Series like a couple months ago. Uh, I bought that whole wave with like Zeb, Sabine, Ahsoka, and several other figures. And I actually do have one other snow trooper in my display, so I figured I'd get another one. They look, they would look good together. I uh, would love to army build this particular trooper, so maybe I can do that in the future. All right, and from Walmart.com, we got these two Mandalorian loyalists. So these were extremely hard to find out in the wild. They were getting snatched up with the quickness. I saw all the all the other figures from this wave except this one. So I was definitely pleased to have ordered this from Walmart.com when it was up for like probably less than five minutes. And these were the last two supposedly on the website. It says two left, so got pretty lucky. Feel pretty lucky getting these. But yeah, they'll definitely look good with the Mandalorian figures. Even though this is basically based on uh, these are from the Clone Wars. But they look great. Very nice. All right, and last but not least, we got something from Amazon Japan. And it is the Mayfix Child's Play 2 
Chucky figure. And, you know, when I first got this, I was kind of, kind of didn't like the shiny hair, you know? They put some kind of, it made it very glossy. And I didn't expect that. I mean, the face sculpts looks amazing. Love all the different facial expressions that it comes with. And as you can see, this body comes in the good guys box. With a generic look. And first I was like, okay, I think I got a defected one here. As you can see, the eyes. One of the eyes is looking down instead of straight ahead. So, But I figured why it's okay. Uh, let's actually take this out of the package and I'll show y'all. All right, first I'm going to show y'all what it comes with. As you can see, you got Chucky with his body in this Good Guys branded box. Very nice presentation. And it comes with these three extra face sculpts. Got this one here where he has like a snarl. Looks like he's about to attack. Got this one. It's got a very maniacal look where he's about to execute. And then I've got this one right here. It comes with four extra hands. This arm here with the knife at the end instead of a hand. And it comes with two of these knives. One is bloodied up. It comes with a huge bat and this yardstick with the good guy's logo on there. And it comes with a hammer. Alright, and let me actually go ahead and show y'all why this one particular eye is looking down. Okay, so when I first received this, I was kind of bummed because it looks like I had a defected uh, head right here on this particular scope. But I looked behind it and realized there's some pegs where you can reposition the eyes. So, if you just move it around, move it there, it goes back to normal. So very nice. And you can move it whatever direction you like. So this is very nice for um, action figure photography, which is something I have not um, done in a while. I haven't. I need to start posting on Instagram again. It's crazy how some people are, you know, taking pictures of action figures every day. You know, props to them. Most of the time after work, I just want to sit down on the couch. Well, this year in particular has been a very busy one for me. So. Yeah, very cool addition. <laughs> um, so as you can see, the face sculpt looks amazing. I mean, look at all the features on the cheeks, the freckles, the eyes, and everything is spot on. Uh, the only gripe is the hair. You know, as you can see, it's got like a metallic paint. Um, but I'm getting used to it. Um, it's not a huge problem or anything. And with, with uh, less lighting, it's not that big of an issue. That looks pretty good. All right, and here is the figure itself. Uh, let's actually grab some other action figures and put them next to Chucky. All right, so here is the Mafex Chucky next to a Mesco Daredevil figure and a Marvel Legends Logan action figure. And if you've watched the Chucky movies, then you know he does not scale well with them. Not even close. He is humongous. Um, I don't know what scale he is. Um, maybe six scale. <laughs> I'm not even sure. Maybe eighth. But he's definitely not a 12 scale figure. But, um, you know, I honestly thought he was going to, you know, come as a, a 12 scale figure. But no, no, not at all, obviously, and I'm okay with that. I actually want, you know, it, it's got a better display presence to it, and I'm really digging it. I really like this figure a lot. I love the options that it has, uh, the different face sculpts. And as you can see, the metallic, you know, paint on the head, it's not that bad. It's not bad at all. It kind of pops more. Um, 
Of course, I have a lot of lighting here, so uh, with less lighting, it definitely looks better. But I'm liking it. Um, the articulation it does have the butterfly joints, as you can see. And it has the um, ball joint there, as you can see. A ball peg. And she's got the cloth goods. The shirt is not a cloth good, just the overalls. And it does have the toe articulation. It does have a slight ankle rocker. It's very slight, so I wouldn't move it too much. You might break it. And I'd be careful when you're switching out the heads and moving the head. Because I feel like the neck peg down there is going to be very weak. And I, I don't know, I'm always trying to be gentle with these um, more, I guess, premium figures. So I'd be careful in general. You know what? I got an idea. Let's get a six scale figure and put Chucky next to him and see how he looks. Alright, so here is the Mayfex Chucky figure next to the Hot Toys Mandarin and Hot Toys Superman figure. And he definitely scales much better with these two figures than the previous ones. So he it looks pretty accurate that he might be a six scale figure. I mean, I looked up online and he's supposedly 29 inches tall. So that's what? Uh, two feet and five inches. And I looked online as well and noticed that Henry Cavill is six one. So that looks, I don't know, I think that looks alright. I think he may be a six scale figure, maybe one seventh. Not sure, but he definitely looks really good with them. Looks reasonable. What do y'all think? Uh, nevertheless, I think this is a great Chucky figure. Definitely glad I waited for this one. Um, I really like the different uh, head sculpts on it. And it is a bit pricey. On Bag, uh, Big Bad Toy Store, it's uh, $114. And it's still up for pre-order. Um, I got it from Amazon Japan. I pre-ordered a while ago, so I got it for a bit cheaper. Uh, it was 100 shipped. So still very pricey. But uh, if you're a Chucky fan or it's uh, a very nostalgic character to you, like for me, then I think this is a good one to have in your collection. Um, so yeah, he doesn't scale with the 12 scale, uh, 12 scale figures, but, um, I like that he's bigger, you know, it's got a, a, a better display presence. So I'm digging it. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this, uh, random size comparison with these hot toys and just a video in general. I uh, hope y'all doing great. Hope y'all staying safe and hope y'all are finding all the stuff that you like. Um. But of course, make sure you're looking out for your family. You know, Christmas is coming up. Make sure y'all get them something nice. Because let's face it, us collectors, we're always spoiling ourselves throughout the year getting all these uh, collectible items and uh, toys or whatnot. So anyways, uh, y'all be good. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch y'all next time, all right? Ranger out. Peace.